Hello, everybody. This is Kevin with Inspiring. Now you see that we're the inspirational channel that goes behind the scenes, interviews some of your favorite artists, entertainers, and much more. So this is part two of the uh, Creality Extruder uh, accessory kit that we went over in the other video. Um, and we wanted to kind of expand on the video a little bit more and put them into separate segments. Uh, so that way we kind of go over each, every part that's uh, beneficial for uh, this printer extruder. So today, the second part we're going to be talking about is, you know, some of the other things that you do get in with this kit. And as I said, it's a very inexpensive kit directly from Creality. So this is a universal extruder kit, and it works really well, both on the CR6 SE and the CR6 Max. And you can use it on other Creality printers, too, as well. Uh, as we had talked in the previous video, it's very easy to take off, uh, replace, but this video we're going to be talking about a few of the other topics that we didn't talk about in the other video so some of you have asked once you install this onto your 3d printer do you have to program it and the answer is no not on most printers um the cr6 max no uh the se no and the 10 no those are the ones that we know of that you don't have to program it usually is um pretty uh friendly as far as putting it on plug and play kind of thing is what i call it so once you install it and just plug it in it and turn your printer back on it recognizes that it's there and it's fine not unless you installed something that needs to be you know a data file or something upgraded then that's a little bit different but this is already um ready to go there's really no chips or recognizing recognizing of any different chips within this that, so it doesn't need to be programmed um so that was one of the questions and then the the other is these tabs i guess some of you have had some problems getting off the um the little uh you know the plug tabs and there's a little push button of course you want to push and be careful of and push down and then it separates these um the little clips and then you pull it out now you don't want to you know force it or anything i mean these wires are pretty sensitive and if you pull directly on the wires you can feel them moving around in there i mean they're pretty sensitive so if you ever get one of these and you plug them in or you hold on something and all suddenly it don't work then that that could be an issue maybe you pulled the wires out uh, too much and it, it caused an issue um, the other thing as we wrap up this video just to kind of go through you do get quite a bit in with this kit I mean you get a lot of other the boots we talked about this in another boot video about some of the heating temps of some of these boots but you do get five of these in with this kit and this is this is the one that goes up to about 240 now if you have a hotter uh, tip uh, and uh, heating element then i would recommend different boots but these you know you get in with the standard kit and then you also get uh, five more of the tips themselves so if your tips are burning out you do get those um, extra ones too so this kit's a pretty good value overall so if you're ordering these tips individually and then you're ordering these boots individually uh, buying the kit sometime is more beneficial and it probably best for those of you out there that are doing this a lot and uh, doing a lot of printing because you get uh, a lot more for your money. So we hope this video helps and in uh, future videos we'll be covering some more accessories, some more tools, some more uh, other helpful tip uh, videos and we'll see you on the next one.